Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a marketplace in Webflow. First thing first, you want to go to webflow.com and start creating your account. It's totally for free. They do have the pro plan or a subscription plan. You can check it out on their website. But if you just want to take a look on how it works, you can totally try to use their free plan first. So here I am on webflow.com and I'm going to click get started. And then in order to create your account, you can use Google or you can also add your email address. But for me, using Google is the easiest way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And here you'll be asked on whether you would want to create your website from scratch or would you like to take a look at their templates. I'm a template kind of gal, so I always like to take a look at the templates at one website or at one platform just so that I can get the idea of where I want to go. And I just feel like it's easier to use a template. So I'm going to go ahead and click the template. Then over here, you'll be able to see tons of templates that you can use. Not all of these templates are free, but the free templates are also pretty cool. So for example, this one's right here called Velocity. Looks pretty good. And you can also try to filter the category, for example, you will want to try to find for a website that represent your business the most. Maybe you work in beauty or food and beverage or maybe uh, photography and video. You can just choose on whichever website category that you want to create. And because we're on a free plan and I don't really want to use any paid template, I'm going to filter this to just the free template. I think I'm just going to go with this Velocity templates right here. And if you would like to see the overall of the template, you can just go ahead and click on preview template and view templates detail. Here you'll be able to see on the pages that these templates have and I feel like this looks pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and edit this and make it my own. Alright, so here we are on the website editor section. Right off the bat, you can see the home page of the website. So we got this sort of logo banner then this image banner. We've got the second page, third page, etc, etc. Every single section of this website is totally customizable. And let's start with taking a look at the navigation bar or the navigation menu on the left side of our screen. So you can see that if you click on this plus symbols right here, you'll be able to add element as well as adding some layout if you need to. You can also browse more in their libraries. And if you click on this document symbols right here, you can navigate throughout pages on your website. So currently I'm in my home page and if I click on contact, I'll be brought into my contact section on the website. So on my contact, I can see that I got some form, then some wording as well as a Google map section. Let's take a look at what other page do I have. So apparently this template doesn't really have a lot of pages, but it's totally fine. We're just going to cover the basic of how to edit the website for now. So I'm going to go back to my home page and then I am going to start by editing this sections right here. So here I got the banner. I believe this is like the uh, banner or like the menu section and I don't really have any properties on the section so I'm going to go ahead and edit the properties. I'm going to add an image because I would like to upload my logo over here. So all you have to do is click on this plus sign besides this properties text and then you'll be able to add your pictures through here. All right, so now I got my 
logo uploaded next i think i'm just going to delete this text right here because i already got my logo in the middle so i'm going to go ahead and just press delete on my keyboard and now it's removed and i also will want to change on the font of my text so all you have to do is click on the text box and then you want to scroll down until you found this typography option so it's open sense for now and i'm going to take a look at the uh, font selection and try to find one that i feel will be suitable to my website i think i'm going to use this exo font right here and i'm also going to change this one to exo and as for the colors i think i'm also going to change it into black I kind of want my website to have some sort of monotone color theme. It's either black, blue, white, or gray. So I'm going to try to work with that. All right, now that it's done with that, I'm going to try and edit this banner right here. So this banner consists of some wording as well as buttons. I think I'm going to delete the wording for now. And the pictures that I'm going to upload is actually a picture that i made on canva all right so i got my pictures uploaded and i'm actually going to leave this button right here but i'm going to drag it down just so that it's not going to be in an awkward positions with the wording that i already have all right so in order to change the positions of a button or any elements in general you're going to want to go to this position setting and then you're going to want to click on whichever auto text you will find on the sections right here and you can play around with the bars right here so i'm going to put it below the moon and i think that place looks good next i'm going to change on the button text but i think i'm going to delete one of the button because i'm just going to use one of it so i'm going to go ahead and right click on this button and click on delete now i only have this single buttons right here and what i'm going to do if i finish this website is i'm going to connect this button into another page which is probably the uh, moonlight collection page in order to connect this button to another page all i have to do is click on this button and then click on the setting option or setting symbols and then i can put url into the collection or i can also choose this page section and choose the moonlight page sections once it's created in order to change the content of this button, all I have to do is click on this button again, go to typography, and I'm going to change it to EXO. And you can change the color of the text if you want, but I'm just going to leave it as white. Right, and there we go. Now for this one, I'm just going to change it into, let's say, some key points of my product so let's say i'm going to change this image into all right something like this and i'm just going to change this text into something like our key points something like that and obviously i'm going to want to add description but i'm just going to leave it as it is for now and i'm also going to change the colors of this grid image all right so i changed the background into black and now i'm going to go to the next step and instead of surfaces i think i'm going to change this into catalog all right now that we got that done i'm going to go to the next page which is this tab sections right here i think i'm just going to delete text box as well as the button because i'm not going to use them but I do want to add like some sort of banner. Next, I'm going to add a text above that image. It's just going to be some sort of short about us text. All right, and that's the final page of my website. So I ended up adding these pictures for the background and then I also add some text explaining a little bit about what my small business are. And that's for the design. Now, if you would want to edit for the e-commerce necessity, you can just go to your pages 
and then you're going to want to go to this e-commerce pages and settings either your product your categories your checkout etc from there so if you click on the uh, gear symbol besides this product templates you'll be able to take a look at all of the settings that you can do for your product and you can also do the same for the categories and then you can also setting for your checkout page whether it is for the regular checkout with some credit or debit card or you can also create a specific checkout for your paypal and that's basically it that is how you can create and design e-commerce with webflow i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day